Continuing on with the Z fender here, the status is it's been shot with a total of four coats of epoxy primer. Took it down to bare metal, two coats. Built a little bit of a filler in here just to see that it'll work. Two more coats, now I'm gonna block with 220 and 320 and then a red scuff pad and then get it into build primer. Z Fender has been blocked 220, 320 in the red scuff pad. Again, I'll, I will say and make the point that I am not going for a perfectly straight panel here. I am not using perfect blocking techniques. I don't, uh, that's not the goal here. The goal here is to essentially do a proof of concept. And I do want it to get smooth because I do want to make sure I'm getting sanding scratches out of it, but I'm not as concerned with it being straight, like I said. So I do have a couple of little poke throughs of bare metal here right along this line. If this was, you know, the real car or it's something I cared about, I'd knock these down a little bit with a hammer just to uh, see what would happen. And since I am going to mix up epoxy today to, uh, to paint something else, I probably will wait here and paint this in another round of epoxy instead of going to build primer. So all that really means is that there's going to be another delay of a couple days before I get build primer on this guy. Next step on the Z fender here, I've got it blocked out, uh, is high build primer. The high build primer, uh, I got normal build is what I'm using. You can get high build. Of course, it's southern polyurethanes again. This stuff mixes up four to one instead of one to one like the regular epoxy primer does. So it's a, uh, it's a little bit more uh, thick than the epoxy primer is definitely you need a 2.2 millimeter spray tip that's what I use the tech manual calls between a 1.8 and a 2.5 and I went with a 2.2 I had a 1.8 for my spray gun but I just didn't like the way that it went down and uh, so I, I invested in a 2.2 so I'll go ahead and mix this up this stuff has a much shorter pot life than the epoxy primer the epoxy primer will last a couple days this stuff, yeah, it's less than an hour before it'll start to cure up. Kind of nice because you can sand it pretty rapidly. So I can be sanding and blocking out before the end of the day here with no problem. But you wait about five minutes in between each coat, let it flash off, another coat, five minutes, another coat. So I'll try to get about three coats on there. And obviously I'm not gonna be mixing up all that much because I don't have a big area to, to uh, worry about. All right, gun is all tested. Here we go, again. Five minutes in between coats. three coats of build primer if you can tell I can't zoom in too far because the camera loses focus it dries in a very dull sheen and it's also kind of bumpy because of the texture that's in it 
just to give it the thickness but when it blocks out it blocks out really nice and smooth so I'll let this sit here for a little while longer and then I'm gonna move it on to the easel and get to blocking Z Fender has been given three coats of build primer and I block those down 320 or excuse me 220 and 320 by hand and again not going for flat but I am trying to go for smooth so you can kind of see here that little bit of a lighter color that's where it's starting to come through to the epoxy primer and everything else is pretty much in build primer so the object here is to use the build primer to get the panel as flat as you can to a point the more epoxy you see it's more indicative that the panel is getting flat sometimes not always but I want to keep some of that build primer on there because again I want to see my progress and my process and I know that I'm going to have spots where the build primer is going to be existing so I just want to make sure that the build primer stays there so I'm not going to really block out any bit more than this by hand what I'm going to do now is take the DA sander with 320 grit hit it with that and then go for the 400 wet So next up is the 400 grit wet. So I've got my sanding disc and my 3M sander here and just the water with a, just a tad, a drop or two of Dawn dish soap in it. I'm gonna spray down the entire panel and spray the pad. Now, you may notice that the pad kind of starts to come apart a little bit. I was uh, not too smart and didn't make sure I got wet dry pads. So this, uh, these tend to fall apart when they stay wet. Another thing that I'll mention is you wanna make sure that the sanding discs stay clean pull them out right before you're ready to use them slap it on there and get right to it you don't want to collect any dirt or anything on there you don't want to set it down anywhere especially with the disc side down you don't want to do any of that that may pick up some dirt and then scratch your panel sand out to 400 wet came out really nice and smooth looking good there's a uh, some bare metal right here right on this seam here but I'm not going to worry about that I'll just leave that alone I'm going to be more concerned with this nice flat areas in here the um, next step now is to hit it with sealing epoxy I'll reduce it by about 25 percent I'm putting white down because I think the red will look better on a white base vice a gray base I'll do that essentially the same day that I'm ready to paint red. You put the sealing coat down and then you lay your base coat within, uh, within a couple hours of that. Wait overnight if you want and then go with your clear coat. So I'm not going to put the sealing coat on this now. I'm not going to get to the base coat clear coat stuff until, uh, until a later date. So for now this is going to stay like this and I'll uh, obviously do some prep and everything before I, before I start uh, with my next steps. But happy with the way that sits. I wish my other project was this fast. <laughs> 